widely. We will see sunny spells for the vast majority to begin with on Wednesday. Cloud amounts will increase from the west, showers and a blustery wind in the north of Scotland. How quickly the rain pushes in though, a big question mark at the moment, but certainly for all, compared to how we start the week, feeling a good deal fresher but pleasant in the sunshine. Live from London, this is BBC News. Businesses, schools and transport across Israel are hit by a nationwide strike. Unions are demanding a deal with Hamas to secure the release of hostages. The polio vaccination campaign in Gaza enters its second day with more than 72,000 children already treated. Germany's main political parties will continue their boycott of the far-right AFD despite its regional election success. The UK government is to investigate the use of pricing systems following public anger over the cost of Oasis tickets. Hello, I'm Geetha Gurumuthi. Thanks for being with us. Trade unions and groups representing the families of Israeli hostages are holding a general strike to press the government to reach a deal to free those still held by Hamas. It's already affecting some flights at Ben Gurion Airport in Tel Aviv and businesses, schools and other forms of transport have also been hit. The stoppage is the day after the Israeli army said it had recovered the bodies of six hostages who were taken during the attacks of the 7th of October. Well, that led to mass demonstrations in Jerusalem and Tel Aviv on Sunday, 